Love Notion Sewing Patterns has several free or discounted patterns in our collection. Today I'm going to be giving you a closer look at the Love Notions Leggings pattern and I'm also going to be talking about a few of our other free options and how to get them. So the Love Notions Leggings are a super cute, versatile, perfect for every kid's wardrobe legging pattern and you can get them for free on the Love Notions website. There are two methods for finishing the waistband of this pattern. There is an elastic waist waistband and there's also a yoga style waistband. And I'm gonna show you both of those today. I'm also gonna be showing you the top that pairs perfectly with this leggings pattern. And that is the Sprint Tank. Now this is great as we approach spring into summer. It's great for your kids and it is a perfect match for the leggings. So I'm gonna show you those two pieces together. I'm also going to show you how quick and completely easy it is to sew up the Love Notions leggings from start to finish. I guarantee you it will not take you more than 30 minutes from print to your last stitch. Now before we get into the sprint and the leggings pattern, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Love Notions flagship pattern, which is the Love Notions Laundry Day Tee. This is also a pattern that is available for free, and I highly, highly suggest adding it to your collection. This pattern is a tank, it is a tunic, it is a regular t-shirt, it is a dress, and it has tons of sleeve options, it has a cowl, it has everything that you could want. I love it because it has nice shaping at the bust and then flares out a little bit over the hips and has lots of extra ease there. Um, I love using this um, laundry day tee as a layer underneath the cardigan and wearing it as a dress on its own. So the way that you can get the laundry day tea from Love Notions is by simply visiting Love Notions Pattern Support on our Facebook group. When you join the Facebook group, you can have um, access to the special code that makes this pattern free. And that's in the announcements post of our Facebook Pattern Support group. You can also access, access this pattern for free when you um, follow us on Instagram. And if you look at our Instagram account, you will see the code for the Love Notions laundry day tea there as well. Again, it's a great pattern to add to your stash. So you might be wondering, why are these patterns free? Well, the answer to that is pretty easy. It's not because there's anything wrong with them. In fact, these are some of our best selling, most used patterns um, on our website. The reason why they're free is because they're a great way to get your feet wet and to learn a little bit about love notions as a designer. Many pattern companies do this, and if you're new to a company, look and see if they have any free patterns that give you a little bit of a taste of what the pattern company is all about. This is also a great way to get started if you're new to PDF pattern sewing. Um, understanding the process of how to print and assemble and put these together, it's different than sewing with the regular big four um, sewing patterns, and it's nice to feel like you can understand the process without making a huge investment. So that's the reason why we have free patterns on our website and I highly encourage you to check them out and see if they're for you. And in my opinion, I think the leggings and the laundry day tea are great patterns to have in your stash. Okay, so let's talk fabric. I recommend for leggings to use a fabric that is breathable, comfortable, and it has some pretty good recovery and stretch. The leggings do have lots of negative ease, so they're going to be a little bit tighter on your kid's body. Um, I'm going to be using a double brush poly. This will be one of my pairs. And I'm also going to be using this Modal floral fabric. Now I'm pairing this with a sprint that is made out of baby French terry. And um, I think that these are going to be a great mix and match wardrobe for my kiddo. The first thing that I'm going to do when it comes to the leggings pattern is I'm going to print it out. Now you can print yours out at home using the tiled versions and glue and tape them together, but we happen to have a large format printer here and I just went ahead and printed that out. And this pattern is just one pattern piece, so it is very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that pattern out and I will use it on my fabric and I will line it up on my fabric and make sure that the grain of the uh, indicated on the pattern piece is um, matched up with the grain on your fabric. Now you'll notice with the floral fabric here, I am using the elastic waistband, so I will need that extra piece at the top. When I'm switching over to this, I will not need that extra length at the top, so I'm gonna cut on the yoga waistband length, and then I'm just gonna fold over the top piece so I can save it for another make later. You might remember that I left um, that size chart for the cut lines for the yoga waistband. I cut that out for my pattern to save for later and I'm going to be cutting that new yoga waistband out now 
and it's ready to go. Next, you're gonna align the leggings with right sides together, and then you are going to pin or clip the front and the back. When those are pin or clipped, you'll take it to your machine and you'll use a stretch stitch, a lightning stitch, or a serger to finish the seams. Now it's time to sew the inseam. I like to match together the front and the back, and then I pin at the hemlines at, on both legs, and pinning in the front and the back and at the hemlines helps me keep everything straight. Then I use a stretch stitch or a serger to finish the entire inseam. Now it's time to attach the yoga waistband. First things first, we are going to sew the short ends of the yoga waistband right sides together. Once that's done, we're going to lay it out so it's clear to see the back and clip it, and then find the opposite side and clip that as well. What we're doing right now is marking the quarter points. So once those are matched together, I'll be able to find the other quarter points on the top and the bottom of the waistband. And I'll know that the back is the one that has the tail from the serger. Now I have to find the quarter points on the leggings themselves and I use basically the same method by putting a pin or clip at the seam lines for the front and the back, and then looking for the quarter points on the sides. Now I'm gonna match up all of my clips, making sure that the back seams are matched up. And now I'm gonna sew that together. These are all finished. Now you might be wondering about what I do for the hemline. Well, this is a knit pattern, so I don't need to necessarily finish it if I don't want to, and it's really tricky to finish and cover stitch the bottom of a hem for leggings. So what I do is use a latch hook tool, a really tiny one I found on Amazon, and I stick it inside the surged threads, and I pull in the tails from my serge, and then I'm all finished. Keep in mind that I just made the yoga waistband, but there is also an elastic waistband that is just as easy to make. Now, I recommend using the yoga waistband if you wanna do something that's super quick, and it's also great for kids who have sensitivities to clothing. All right, so that is how I sew up the leggings, leggings pattern from Love Notions. I hope that was helpful for you, and I hope that you get inspired to make your own creations with leggings or the free laundry day tea. I also hope that you take a second to glance at the Sprint Tank from Love Notions. It is a great option to pair with the leggings pattern um, for any kiddo, and you can find all of the details about that in the description box, and I'll also put a line drawing of the pattern right here. So take a look at Sprint, take a look at leggings, and take a look at laundry day tea. Love Notions has so many patterns that are perfect for every occasion and every person, and I hope that you enjoy sewing all of them. Have a great day. Bye. Is this all that you dreamed it?
for black and white.